My mom would tell us a story that was told to her by her grandmother. It's a Delaware story of the stick people. And the way it goes is uh, late at night, you would hear your name being called, beckoning you to come to the woods. But if you went, you were never heard from again. And there was no follow-up of what the stick people looked like. But of course, as a creative person, as a young kid, that's all I could think of is what do the stick people look like? And of course, the image of the sticks, the name just stuck with me. Years later, I was in grad school and there was a man who used to smoke cigars. And when he put them out, I noticed that the butts of these cigars looked like little dresses, like little bodies. It had almost like a flare for the dress, and then the part where the mouth was was almost like pinched little shoulders. And so I started collecting them. And then I thought about this idea of the stick people. And my dad's family had owned this jewelry kind of slash everything store, the jewelry, the dishwashers, washing machines. And in there, one of my favorite things was this little black cameo. And it had two faces, I think, on it. And they were so detailed. And then... We also had these two paintings that had been done of my sister and I, and it was this silhouette black painting. And I thought of them, and then I thought of this story, and then the tobacco. And so I started to put all of this together, and they became what I refer to as the cigar figure. And it's a way of holding place and honor and remembering family.